Hey guys, I'm Kendall. And I'm Frank. And, and we're, we're that camping, camping couple. couple. That's we better. Got it. We got it. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Frank and I have been living in a tent for two months. <laughs> <laughs> we chose this lifestyle. Today we have an exciting video for y'all because we are going to be sharing our pros and cons of living in a tent. Pros and cons. <laughs> so stay tuned. I've got the pros. And I've got the cons. And we're just gonna pull them out randomly and share them with y'all. Oh, okay, this is a good one. We meet a lot of awesome people. Yeah, we do. The very first morning, actually, when we started this, uh, we woke up and we met some locals at near Leadville, Colorado, and they they automatically became good friends. They were awesome people. Yeah, and we love to meet people. Like this is that's one of the big reasons why we chose this lifestyle. Let's do the con now. Dang, those things are stout. <laughs> All right, I got this. If I can read. <laughs> Starting with a good one. Sleep with gun because of animals. <laughs> and that's no joke. In San Luis Valley, we heard a bear almost every night growling, like just not too far from camp, which kind of scary when you're from Missouri and the biggest thing there is a rabbit. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a ton of mountain lions around this area in Colorado, so we just don't want to take the chance. We want to be ready. And yeah. plus, there's crazy people, let's be honest. <laughs> I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere. It wouldn't be much as rob us, so. Definitely. Next pro. <laughs> Gotta have that gun. All right, so cell phone service usually sucks around here we sometimes get lucky and have good service at our campsite but we set this as a pro because it just is less of a distraction whenever we don't have our phones to be on constantly we're san luis valley again where the bears are we didn't have service at all at camp and we noticed it whenever we were doing youtube because we wanted to upload videos and and uh stay in contact with y'all so we can message y'all back and everything but Really, it was a plus because honestly, um, you don't realize how much of a time a waste your phone is. Oh, my turn. This one's tiny. This must not be a bad con. Oh, this is a big one because we love food. Can't store more than three to four days of food. And that is so true. Uh, the cooler, I mean, what was it? Steak can last three to four days. Mm -hmm. So... We kind of plan it out. We know what can last longer and what can't. Yeah, it's it's really not that bad, though, because in three to four days' time, we have a video filmed and edited and ready to upload. So usually we go into town to upload it and maybe get a coffee or something. and Starbucks. Yeah, <laughs> and store back up on food. If you could store a little longer, you could save money buying in bulk, but we can't. we got to buy, you know, almost plan every meal and buy exactly what we need because things go bad out here we got to make sure we don't waste a lot of food it's a con but at the same time it's not that bad so yeah let's do a pro <laughs> little home repairs and house cleaning <laughs> <laughs> well no house cleaning yeah but... sweeping the tent is about it <laughs> that's and right doing laundry the most home repair we have is just about whenever the tent blows over and we have to set it back up. <laughs> Which is a lot more than y'all think. I mean, yeah, it's windy here. We'll, we'll go back to San Luis Valley. It blew over every single day. <laughs> we, were, we tried our best. We put stuff everywhere, like in the corners to weigh it down. And honestly, this tent behind us is probably one of the best tents I've ever used. And because it's blown over, you just stand it back up, and it's actually the one of those tents where you can set it up in like 30 seconds or something. We'll leave a um, link below where you can find those online because they are excellent tents, really excellent. Yeah, since it's a pop-up, it just folds in. And if I think if it wasn't a pop-up, they probably would have broke by oh, now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> broke several times, but it just kind of collapses and folds back up. So this is a big one. It's probably one of the biggest. We can't see your family and friends, and that is that's hard. Uh, yeah. We we love people and we love our family and friends more than anybody. So that's the toughest thing. I mean, we're miles away from home, and at least we can kind of share the videos on here, and they can watch it and kind of keep up to date. And we message them and whatnot. But that's a big one. That's one of the biggest, I think. Yeah, and home is all the way back in Missouri for us. So we've been. Uh, in Colorado for two months and haven't seen our friends and family. Actually, home is right here. Yeah. But 
What was home? What was home? That's right. <laughs> we love y'all, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> love y'all. <laughs> All right, we can pack up and go as we please. So we'll get. That has a little bit of a con that we'll talk about later, but it's so awesome. We've got to keep moving so we can try different places and find gems and minerals and. Uh, keep exploring the country so we can get y'all some content. Yeah, <laughs> but whenever you're at a home, I mean, you're there. You're there. So we just pick up our home and go. See what this is gonna be. Tiny living space. Be mindful of what we keep. Oh, yeah, a lot of downsizing. <laughs> Can't <laughs> yeah. store everything in a tent and your car, unfortunately. But that's also a positive. I mean. The tiny living space is a little annoying because whenever the weather's bad, you got to put everything inside and we can't keep all the stuff that we want. A lot of the necessities that most people have at home, we just can't have. And yeah. we, we like it, but at the same time, it's hard. I mean, there's some stuff that TV, we don't, we didn't watch a lot of TV, but it's still nice whenever it's raining outside. When it's raining outside, we're outside. So, so we can't just go and buy new things because we don't have enough yeah. room to store it <laughs> we really have not enough room for what we have but we make it work poor dogs <laughs> uh i guess kind of going off of that we realized how little we need to be happy yeah, so that's a good one to follow up with <laughs> yeah so whenever we left home we had to downsize so much but it was a really freeing thing like we couldn't believe how much we had and now not having all those things that we wanted is really nice. A lot of stuff that we use, like now, is it's just the stuff that you can't live without. I mean, food and water and... Except for all of our rocks. Yeah, we do have a lot of rocks. <laughs> um, my mom's probably laughing right now, but we have a ton of rocks. They're all cool. Don't get me wrong. We love rocks. But that takes up most of our space. So. Yeah, but that's what makes us happy. I mean, we just prioritize <laughs> there's no uh oh hey girl <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah it's really really awesome how little we need to be happy we yeah. have each other we have our dogs we have our essentials and that's and all we really need <laughs> <laughs> lots of food we love food all right let's do this hey look at that talking about food now we're talking about water uh water must have for us and dogs. That is yeah. so true. I did not realize how dry Colorado was. <laughs> I mean, in the pictures, it's always a pretty lake and a creek or whatever. We get out here, it's, there's no water. I mean, we can't, we can't get the water for the dogs in a creek unless we're at a campsite with a creek. Yeah. So we have to keep water on hand and feeding or watering two dogs and two people with a lot of water. <laughs> so... Less bills. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> mainly the only bills we have is obviously a food bill, gas because we travel a lot, uh, a shower bill which we'll get to, <laughs> and our phone bills and some bills we have for apps to run our YouTube and blog, but that's about it. Yeah, that's it. The food bill is the highest. Yeah. Golly. We like to eat good food. We do. <laughs> we just had steak and potatoes, curry, salmon yeah yeah we just like good food <laughs> it's like that's definitely a priority of ours yeah and without like a rent bill and bills for everything else you can dedicate that money to our travels mm -hmm. all right awful roads <laughs> awful awful roads um if you're doing it like us and you're living full-time in a tent you're not going to pay for a campsite when there's free campsites, you know, all over the country. But the campsites that we get that are free, the roads are terrible. Yeah, terrible. they do not keep up with these roads. <laughs> Very Mostly, good that are way out here. Yeah, that's exactly right. The campsites you pay for are right off a main road. But these campsites, I mean, it might be 30 to 40 minutes down a gravel road that's terrible. Yeah, we gotta go slow and or take even our time. so bad that we are like, okay, we have to find a different spot. We can't yeah. even make it through this. <laughs> so that that's definitely a negative, but it also means when you get to the end of that road, it's a really remote place and it's really pretty. So yeah. it's kind of a trade-off. It's good. <laughs> I'm getting chilly. 
Well, you tried to look pretty and you didn't put a jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're usually at least 30 minutes from town. Back to the roads. Awful. <laughs> also a con, but as a pro, it saves us a lot of money because we're not just in town all the time uh, thinking we need this or that or eating out. So Yeah, every time we go into town, we want to eat out and get Starbucks. So yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing we're not really close to town. Uh, yeah. But it is. We That's like what I was saying. Whenever you get down these back roads, it's such, it's such pretty scenery. Um, some of the best places in the country are on the, the worst roads in the world. I mean, they really are. Yeah. So, and there's really nothing like being out here in the country at least 30 minutes from town. No. Sometimes when we go to town, we're just ready to get back out in the country. It's quiet unless there's a bear. <laughs> All right. For comfort comfortability <laughs> of sleeping, constantly wash blankets and pillows. And more. <laughs> and more, yeah. Um, you have a tent. You have a limited, you have a limited living space. So... We track dirt in. I mean, we can't help it. So we have to wash everything a lot more than you would at home. We have an air mattress, a big air mattress, and it's literally like sleeping on a nice bed. Yeah. But and it gets chilly at nights in Colorado, which is definitely a con, but we have a Mr. Buddy heater, which yeah. is like a lifesaver. Getting from your whatever you're wearing for the day to your pajamas or your PJs or whatever y'all call it. <laughs> Can be a little nipply. <laughs> as, yeah. a, as a pro also, comfortability of sleeping is that, well, we have stuff to make it comfortable. An air mattress, plenty Mr. Buddy heater, plenty of blankets. Uh, but something Frank mentioned earlier is that it's really nice having the sounds of nature when you sleep. Yeah, it really is. I mean, a lot of people pay for apps that help you sleep, and it's got the running water or the rain or whatever. We get that every night. <laughs> every night. Don't have to pay for it. Yeah, like at our last campsite, we were right on a creek. That was so nice. Hey, cell phone service. Con. But as we mentioned a little earlier, that it is definitely a pro, too. The cons, it's pretty inconvenient. It really is. Whenever you're trying to get a hold of somebody or trying to get on our youtube channel and message y'all back it stinks whenever you're like i don't have service and we're camping so you know we're going to be here from dinner till next morning at least and can't do anything on the phone yeah and when you work online you need service yeah. so that's always kind of a pain whenever we don't have any at our campsites so it's definitely something to take into consideration when you find a spot check the service uh, we'll definitely get better at it because like this spot right here, we're out in the middle of nowhere, but we have pretty good service. Yeah. The last spot we were at, we didn't have any at all. I mean, we were just flat out. I mean, we drove we drove up the hill about 20 minutes up the mountain, I guess. We're in Colorado. <laughs> we drove up the mountain about 20 minutes, and then we'd have service, which was nice, but it's pretty inconvenient, and the roads were terrible. So, <laughs> you ready? All right, so a pro of this lifestyle is that we have chosen to work remotely, so we get to set our own hours, we get to work from wherever we are, and most importantly, we get to work together, which yeah. is huge for us. That is. Ooh. Cautious about dogs with wild animals. <laughs> we have two dogs. Y'all have probably already seen them, but Colorado's a little different than Missouri. They're the the elk are big, the moose are big, the bears are big, and the mountain lions are mean. So, well, yeah. we don't know yet. We haven't seen one. We're hoping to. So and, we have to yeah. really, really watch out for them. We don't like to put them on a leash all the time because, I mean, they're dogs. They don't need to be leashed every single day. So it's a little tough. That's my turn? Your turn. Okay. Okay, another pro that's also a con, is the tiny living space. So we're super mindful of what we keep, but that's actually a really good thing because we can't just go out and buy whatever we want. And I don't know, we just have to only keep essentials, which is actually a really nice thing. Yep. Minimalism. <laughs> Real popular these days. <laughs> oh, this one here just arcs me. <laughs> oh, it makes me mad. <laughs> we're camping. But we can't have campfires because of the COVID. 
that has been one of the biggest i mean we're in colorado camping with the most amazing camp spots and we can't have a fire we definitely cheated a few times um, <laughs> but we can't have a campfire because they say it's bad for the people with the virus to breathe in and it's like we're way out here in the middle of nowhere well it's also just to keep people from doing what we're doing i mean if you can't have a campfire who wants to camp you gotta have those marshmallows yeah <clears throat> so we definitely <laughs> break it a few times don't sue us Okay, so we always make sure a campsite has awesome scenery. Yeah, as you can see behind us. Yeah, super cool views of mountains or like really high camp spots where we're looking over or by a creek. Yeah. Or by awesome rock camping spots. So we always have really good campsites. But they're always down terrible roads. <laughs> <laughs> terrible roads. <laughs> Oh, so we already did the uh, 30 minutes away from town, maybe an hour sometimes. So it is a, it is a positive because we love to be out here in the middle of nowhere, enjoying nature and, and whatnot. But it's also a negative because sometimes you need stuff and yeah. you can't buy stuff down the road here. You got to go way over to the next town or, where, or to the town, wherever it's at. Yeah. So it costs gas money and our time. So. Yeah, so we try to limit that as much as possible. <laughs> we can catch our own dinner. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to go to town. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but we have bought our Colorado fishing license, and it's been so fun to fish, and the trout here taste amazing. <laughs> yeah, amazing, <laughs> especially when she's cooking. <laughs> really, you cook the trout. Ah, <laughs> uh, sort of. Hey, weather. That one's short. <laughs> um, definitely a negative because we're in a tent. When it storms, we're in a tent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're usually high up, so the wind's even worse. So the weather here is unpredictable. It literally, two days ago, was the most beautiful, sunny. What Actually, earlier this afternoon was just sunny as could be. And then it started raining. It hailed on us while we were yeah. digging today. So just a little silly, but uh, we don't mind it too much. But it is definitely a negative, and we sometimes we don't have service to check the weather. So we're just kind of yeah. going with the flow. Uh, a few times our tent, we left the flaps open, and we got a little rain in our tent, which yeah. <laughs> kind of stinks. But that's about all I got to say for that one. <laughs> we get to spend more time together. <laughs> that's right. Get to annoy each other. Yeah. <laughs> this was huge because whenever we were back in Missouri and working separate jobs, that was so hard. Like, we hate being split up. We wanted to be able to work together. We want to be together as much as we can. So, we get to spend every minute together. <laughs> yeah. And that's really awesome. That's right. It's a blessing. It is a blessing. We love each other and we get to see each other every day, all day. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, All day. sometimes, like <laughs> when I'm cooking, Frank will take a hike or something, and we'll we'll get our alone time. We'll fit our alone time in there, but it's really nice to get to be together whenever we want. Yeah, it is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it is. I love it. Definitely one of the best perks. Definitely yeah. one of the best perks. Because that was actually one of the mindsets that we had when we were working full time. Like she said, we just it was silly. We got married. And we we're like. We don't even see each other. We work. Yeah. I worked uh, with the financial company, and she was, well, she was at college still too, which was really stinky. But yeah, finding cheap or free showers—that one's hard. We took showers yeah. every day, sometimes twice. We love our showers. Yeah. And here it's like every two days, <laughs> and <laughs> uh, we listed a few options because whenever you're out here doing this, it's really helpful to have a few options. Truck stops, believe it or not, Love's Truck Stop was is probably one of the nicest showers I've been in. It was so yes. nice. So, and cheap. Yeah, it was. Uh, and we actually got lucky because when we were there, there was a trucker, and I don't, I can't remember his name, but if you're watching this, we really... Bill. Bill. Maybe. Uh, we really appreciate it. He he actually got our shower because he had, he said he had unlimited just swiped the card, so... Yeah. That was really awesome. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, thank or, you. 
Yeah. Well, <laughs> That's your name? <laughs> uh, so truck stops, laundry mats. We didn't know this, but whenever we first got to Colorado, we uh, called, or she called, a lot of different places. And l there was a laundromat in Buena, Buena Vista and Leadville, which was really nice because we were right in the middle of those. We had It was 30 minutes both ways. And they're ex they're kind of expensive. We had the shower we went to was eight dollars for, for eight, eight minutes. minutes. It said fifteen minutes, but we timed it because we were like, we got fifteen minutes, and after eight minutes, I was I still had soap in my hair. I had to use the sink, <laughs> so showers are just hard. And then also churches. That's a big one. Well, the church was free in Buena Vista when we found that out. And unlimited time. <laughs> and unlimited time, so you don't have to worry about it. So we really appreciate that. And whenever y'all come out to camp, just call around. There's usually some place nearby. We've also gotten lucky. People are really friendly. You know, when you're out here meeting new people, they might offer to let you shower there. Yeah. So it is definitely a negative, though, because we love our showers, and we can't shower every night. Yeah. Mr. No, so watch out. Hey, I'm getting low. Check it out. <laughs> Got four or five more. Boy, you can help me with the pros. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. So we get to wake up and hike or rock hound or work wherever we are. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to drive to a location to work or to go on an awesome hike. It's right there at our campsite. We can just wake up and work remotely. We can just wake up and go. We always plan our campsites to be near awesome rock hunting places, not only for fun, but for our videos. So we just wake up and rock hound, which yeah. is work. Like today, we just went right over there and found a spot. Yeah. So definitely a positive. Oh goodness, right after the shower. <laughs> No toilets. <laughs> Goodness. Um, yeah, that one's terrible. It just is. You don't. We don't have a, a toilet, and I'm telling you now, gas station toilets are like the Ritz. <laughs> they are so nice. I'm just so happy whenever I see one. I mean, it may sound terrible, but it is. It's true. You go like five days, and you go into town, and you're like, ah, oh, so nice. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> it is so nice. Oh, shoot. This is a good one. So we get to enjoy God's creation more fully. That is so good. Yeah, so it's like God's creation is so, so amazing. Like it's so beautiful out here and we get to enjoy it together every single day. And we always see something new. I mean, the wildlife, the awesome scenery, it's just so awesome. Yeah, y'all definitely should check out. We have a, a video, we'll link it in the description, but it's of all the wildlife and the scenery we've seen unbelievable it really is i'm not the best photographer so the pictures aren't the best but the scenery's um, great they're they're awesome pictures <laughs> what you want buddy finding free campsites not labeled good we use blm interactive maps not enough said no yeah. i'm just kidding <laughs> um the le the campsites are not labeled when they're free typically finding a campsite's hard it really is you'd think that you could just drive down the road in a national forest and find one and a lot of times you can but for the most part it's labeled that you can't camp here can't camp there whatever so and we also i mean we're living full-time camping we can't pay for a camp spot every single day we can't so no. we, we find don't the, want to we don't want to <laughs> and plus the free ones are usually the better ones anyway um they just are you can't really just google awesome free camp spots in that location i mean it's just not very well aware of and some some places people want to keep secret yeah so that's so true it's really our, hard to find our actually several of our spots people are like how'd you find this or what led you here it's like well we just drove a lot to find this spot and then they're like we want to keep this a secret <laughs> <laughs> when we were finding diamonds which will also have that linked in the description uh in northern colorado southern wyoming we drove i think almost all day yeah um trying to find a spot well we got there at like two in the morning because we just left another like a spot in southern colorado i drove all the way up and then it was like two in the morning we couldn't find a camp spot and we finally just found a little 
I, it wasn't even labeled. It was just kind of an open area on the end of this road. Yeah, we usually, if you see a fireplace, it's like, okay, yeah. there's a camp spot. <laughs> That's a good indicator. And then the next day we drove all day looking for a spot close to the diamonds. And we just happened to get lucky and saw the signs. So it's hard. Yeah. So our dogs get to travel yeah. and they love it. They are so excited every time we get in the car and they love to just run around and get to explore. So yeah, you like it. They're don't you? lucky dogs. They are lucky dogs. <laughs> nah, I don't want you on me. I just want you to come <laughs> over and say hi. Say hi to the camera. Go that way. Look, there's the camera over there. Over there. <laughs> okay, fine. My turn. Uh, yeah, this was terrible. We're actually doing that tomorrow. What is packing that? and unpacking everything. Oh, yes. It's pretty rough. Um, it's stressful. Yeah, because it only fits a certain way in the car because we don't have that much room. Uh, we're in a RAV4, so keeping everything you own in a car and unpacking it when you get to a camp spot and then packing it back up is probably one of the worst negatives. Right below not seeing our family and friends, definitely, definitely a negative. Yeah. It's hard and stressful, like she said. It's just kind of, we're always doing it pretty fast because we're either just got done mining, uh, trying to head to the next spot, or, hey, <laughs> what do you want? So it is, it's pretty stressful. But once we get there and do unpack, it's such a relief. It's like, it ah, is. home is set up. <laughs> yeah, new home. My dad. It's like moving every week or every few days. This is Frank's new quote. <laughs> home is where the tent is. <laughs> so that's a huge pro, kind of like packing up and going as we please. We can just, our home is wherever we please. Yeah, so. as long as it's on public land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it is, it's great. Uh, the scenery's different everywhere. And I didn't, I mean, Colorado is crazy. We, we went from really high mountain peaks to basically deserts. It's unique here, everything's a little different. You can get all the way down the valleys. And so we've really enjoyed seeing the different sceneries. I mean, home is, is different every week. So it's really cool, yeah. really cool. And it's super homey. Like, it is super homey. <laughs> Can't shower every night. Baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> so baby wipes. The thing, we can't take a shower every night. Um, so we use a lot of baby wipes. <laughs> we use a lot of baby wipes. Uh, I really hope that there's no babies out there that can't find any baby wipes because we got them all. Frank says that food tastes better in nature. It does. It's got a little dirt on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's just something about being out here in nature and having a really delicious meal. It's like extra delicious. I'm sure no. I'm sure if all y'all have camped before, you realize that food does taste better out here. It always tastes better over a campfire, but we can't have those because of the COVID. <laughs> so we use our little grill and whip us up something. It always tastes good. This is my last one. Hope it's a good one. Yeah. Eh. Laundry mats are expensive. <laughs> That's a lame one. That's a lame one to end on for the negatives. But it is. It's true. We got to do laundry somewhere and we can't carry a washer and dryer. Yeah. Well, we probably could, but we wouldn't be able to carry all of our rocks. And it costs a lot to wash the clothes at a laundromat, wash our blankets all the time. So we have to. I mean, it's not terrible, but... I'd rather have clean blankets than not wash them. So. That's right. <laughs> clean blankets and clean, clean clothes. Ooh, wildlife. Again, link in the description. <laughs> Great video. <laughs> We've seen some amazing wildlife here. We've got to see six moose. Mooses. Mooses in two months, <laughs> including a baby moose. That was so cool. Yeah, an antelope chasing a rabbit. Antelope? Oh, we call them antelopes. Oh, yeah, pronghorn. Sorry, we're from Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen two pronghorn fawns. Oh, yeah. That's in the video. <laughs> We've seen an elk baby, and we've seen sheep. We actually have a contest going on, seeing who can spot the wildlife first. So I think we're just down to it. We Goats, saw bears, and mountain lions. So cool to be able to see wildlife. I mean, you won't see that in the city. <laughs> no, and you won't see pronghorns in Missouri. <laughs> Antelope. <laughs> Antelope. Lots of coffee. What was that? Oh. We've turned into like coffee addicts. 
my since mom been would, out here. My mom will be proud. <laughs> she loves her coffee too. But that's definitely a pro because coffee's like so amazing. And we have a little. Uh, it's also a negative. We're kind of addicted. <laughs> but. <laughs> we have a percolator and our little grill so we can have coffee whenever we want, wherever we want. When we were down south, we came back up to the middle of the state to shoot a video at Turquoise Lake. Link in the description. <laughs> we're just going to have all the videos down there. Y'all just go check them out. But we got to our spot 1 to 2 ish in the morning, slept in the car just like for a few hours just gr got the grill and coffee out made some coffee didn't unpack anything else because we were leaving but we got the coffee out we weren't gonna miss that in the morning yeah and then shot the video and left so yeah some behind the scenes there there you go so we we love our coffee uh every morning and actually it's nighttime right now and we're having coffee yeah all right my last one and then frank has one uh oh this is a good one we, the tent our home is only for sleeping yeah. So we don't have TV or other distractions. We spend every moment either outside or working, which yeah. is really nice. I mean, we're like super productive because we don't have a home to just hang out in. We Well, we do, but not a lot of hanging going on in there. <laughs> we only use it for sleeping. Yeah. So we're way more productive. If it rains, we might hop in the car. But actually, like today, it was raining while we were outside. We were just toughing it out. Yeah. Um, 90% of the time the rain comes in the afternoon and we're or like in the evenings and we're in the tent going to bed. It doesn't rain a lot during the day here. If it does, it's a little shower and we just tough it out and keep rolling. Yeah. So it's really nice to be able to have our sleeping space and then the whole world be our living space yeah, with no that. TV. <laughs> Unless we go to eat in town and then we're like, oh, TV. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can't, can't keep our eyes off of it. It's hard. My last one. Woo. Better be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that I put in here that she didn't know why I put it in oh, here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> no bedtime. <Woo. laughs> hey, I think it's awesome. <laughs> There's no curfews, no crazy rules in a city or nothing like that. I mean, our bedtime is when we go to bed. Which is sometimes really late if we're editing. <laughs> yeah, there's, I mean, we're not uh, annoying anybody out here, so yeah. we can blare our music that we don't have. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know why I added that, but I just liked it. <laughs> so, comment down below if you liked it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so we really hope y'all enjoyed this. We hope y'all got some good information. If not, sorry. Uh, Rewatch it. Maybe you'll get something next time. But... <laughs> Basically, we're going to have a video coming out pretty soon about why we chose this lifestyle and how we chose this or how we went about doing it. Yeah. And we're just super excited to give you all some more information and give you all some more insight in our life and how we're doing it. Yeah, and just to get to know us a little better. Yeah, we want you all to know us and we want to know you all. So please leave a comment down below and let us know what you all think. Yeah, uh, let us know what your favorite pro is and your favorite con is. And also... Let us know if there's any tips or tricks that y'all know of for camping like this. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be super cool. Any any information, any ideas? Because we're not, we don't know it all. We literally sold everything in four days and left and had no plan whatsoever, except we were going to find gold in Colorado. Yeah, and which here we have a we video. Still are. <laughs> we have a video down there. <laughs> Promise, it'll be right there. But we seriously love y'all so much and are so thankful for your support. Yeah, we really are. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications so we can grow this channel. and Yeah. And continue living in a tent. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's expensive, y'all. <laughs> Super high rent. <laughs> we love y'all. Thank you very much. Thanks, y'all.